guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we will be doing my hair you guys loved the last video that i did where i washed and pretty much revamped my one month old sew-in this comb has been a lifesaver for the past couple days I had like, oh child. So in that video, you guys had quite a few questions that I couldn't answer because I had already taken out the sewing at the time. So in today's video, I would definitely try to address a lot of those questions that you guys had and hopefully, you know, give some, provide some clarity. It'll be kind of a similar concept, except this sewing has only been in for a couple of weeks. Actually, no, it's been more than a couple weeks. Maybe like three weeks. We're gonna give her three weeks. It's time for her to be washed. My hair is super flaky and kind of stringy from all the grease that I've been using to mask all the flakes. I know, a little nasty, but, um, but finally we are going to wash her today. So I'm gonna wash my hair and then come back and we're gonna blow dry and style it and all that stuff together. I hope you can see me. But um, so I had to run out of the house really quickly um to get a couple things from Sally's Beauty. So now we can resume <laughs> with doing our hair. I literally like ran out all sorts of crazy hair is like whatever because we just needed those couple things um so yeah let's get back into the rest of the video okay guys so now we are back um so like i saw i had to run out of the house really quickly to just get a couple of things to finish my hair so we're back now and we're ready to finish up give me a second <laughs> so sorry about that like i was saying um so we are back but we got it we're back home now so now we can resume with finishing up this bird's nest <laughs> that i got on top of my head so from the last time i did this video my products have changed so let me show you guys what i use to wash my hair first things first i started off with a pre-shampoo scalp balancing cleanser and this is from um, Dry Bar. So this is just a pre-shampoo you use just to pre-cleanse the scalp. Um, being that I had been putting a lot of oils on my hair, um, especially in my leave out to like mask <laughs> the flakes. <laughs> so all of that buildup was just all on my scalp. So I made sure I used a pre-shampoo to help cleanse that out before I went in with my shampoo. For the shampoo, I use the olive oil sulfate free shampoo, um, super hydrating. This has rice water and electrolytes. So this is a new line that olive oil came out with, infused with rice water and electrolytes, which are pretty good for your hair. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but my hair is breaking off tremendously. Like. It is damaged and it has a lot to deal with the fact that I did relax my hair and I wasn't taking care of it in the meantime. So now we're trying to get it back to a healthier state. I'm not putting relaxer in it again anymore <laughs> for now. Okay, we're just not gonna put any, we're just gonna say we're not gonna put any relaxer in it anymore. I don't know what the future holds, but for right now, I'm okay with the relaxers and the perms and all that stuff. We're just gonna try to rock out with our natural hair. So I'm trying to get my natural hair back to a healthy state. So I will be using a lot of shampoos and conditioners and treatments that are targeted towards damaged natural hair. Then to keep everything just consistent and I'm not using a bunch of different products, I went in with the olive oil deep treatment conditioner. This also is infused with rice water and electrolytes. I don't know if I mentioned this. Let me just go back a little bit. The pre-shampoo, I only used on my leave out, my edges and the nape of my neck where I had a little, just a little bit of hair that, you know, came out gradually over time as your hair grows out and so in. The shampoo and conditioner, 
I used on my leave out as well as my weave. I washed my hair about twice with the shampoo and then I went in with the treatment. And so I put that in my hair on the leave out and on the weave. I tied everything up and put it under a shower cap. And as I was showering, shaving my legs, doing all that stuff, I let it sit under there. And um, this is what it ended up looking like, I think after like 20 minutes. So because I had to run out of the house really quickly, this ended up drying through just air dry. But I am going to wet it a little bit because we're going to be using the Color Wow Dream Coat. So I'm not sure if I used this in the last video. I don't remember. But we're going to go in with this. It has been a game changer for my hair when it comes to pressing out my hair. My hair stays straighter much longer and it doesn't frizz up. It, it literally, it's, it, it works, y'all. I thought it was only for the, but it worked for us to okay and you have to use this on damped hair so i do have a spray bottle with water in it just going to damp the top of my head a little bit nothing too crazy i'm just gonna detangle it a little bit and now we're gonna go in with the color wow and we're going to liberally is that what it says so it says to spray your hair liberally and comb through with this. So make sure I get the ends and the roots. Because, you know, that'll be the first place that curls up is the roots. I'm going to also comb it through to make sure it's evenly distributed throughout the hair. Tell y'all my hair was falling out like this isn't bad like the amount of hair that came out isn't bad before mommy just going like this hair was like coming out by the chunk okay my hair is it's getting stronger and i love to see that so yeah and i'm gonna put y'all on to some game changing ish when it comes to these edges I thought I had it down packed last time, but this time, <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I think I got it this time. I think I got it. So we have liberally, liberally, liber, liberally. We have sprayed a lot of this <laughs> in our hair. So now I'm going to go in with my blow dryer, which I'm using this one. It helps to get the hair as straight as possible. It has bristles in it as well as little combs super cool and it's great so i'm gonna be using this to blow dry my leave out i forgot to put heat protectant uh, i'm gonna go in with my chi 44 iron guard thermal protection spray I got it from Marshalls for like 11 bucks. So I'm gonna spray that really quickly because I'm so mad I forgot to spray it before, but it's all right. Life move fast and you do what you want. Okay, so our leave out is pretty much dry and pretty much bone straight, I think, right? I'm going to just clip this section away so that we can work on the rest of our hair. okay so now we're gonna work on the weave so i'm gonna do it in sections like how i did the last time part it in two and then clip this section away and then work on this section first so let me just comb it out to get it Make sure it's not tangled. I'm going to go in with more of the heat protectant. I'm 
Make sure you get the ends, y'all, like I said, because those ends can and will have split ends. So we want to protect our weave and have it lasting as long as possible. I'm going to comb it out or comb it through, sorry. So we're going to now blow dry this first section. I what i wanted to also mention is that this blow dryer comes with a head where you could take it off and if you want you can literally just use this part as a blow dryer please do not i repeat please do not remove the head of the blow dryer you have been warned okay now back to our scheduled programming and the air will come out through here. That is also a cool thing as well if you don't want to use this. So I'm gonna use it just to get down in between my tracks. But like I mentioned before, it is so imperative, guys, to sit under a hooded dryer and make sure those braids under your sewing are dry. You don't want it to be musty. You don't want it to be moldy like if you do not dry that underneath, you're, you're going to have some serious issues. And it's also going to stink, which you you just washed your hair. You don't want your hair to smell stink. Like, that's not cute. So I did sit under a hooded dryer prior to me, like, coming back. But I'm going to still go in with this just to get, like, deep in between the tracks where I can't with just this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am done blow drying this first section of my hair. So this is what it looks like so far. What I love about this hair is it, it is raw Indian hair, but it also has this wavy texture. I'm not sure if you guys saw it before I blow dried it or if y'all peeped, but it's more of like a curly wavy texture. And so when it blow dries straight or whatever, it looks, it get, it has a little poofy look to it, but it's good because it blends perfectly with my leave out. Because like I said, I don't have relaxed hair, so my hair isn't bone straight like it was before. So it blends in a lot better with my leave out now that I'm not relaxed anymore, if that makes sense. And my hairstyle is also cut it in layers, so it looks a little crazy right now. But once we get her together and have her all uniformed and stuff, um, we're going to really see how the layers lay. Right now, it just looks a little crazy and like all over the place and frizzy, but we're not done. Trust the process. I didn't stare y'all wrong the last time, so trust the process. So I'm going to finish doing this section and then I'm going to come back for the final part of styling. Oh my God. <gasps> Yo. Yo. It literally burned. It burned off the from the weft. Cause these are like chunks, like a thick piece of hair from a weft. Okay, so don't use this ever. I don't even know where it's coming from because I can't feel where it's burned. I've never. <laughs> I've never had anything like this happen to me before. Like, I'm, I'm like speechless. Let me, let me gather, <laughs> let me, <laughs> let me gather my thoughts. I'm going to clean this up, get my life together, and then come back. A few moments later. Okay, so we are back. <laughs> a good thing about this entire situation is the fact that it wasn't my actual hair that got burnt 
to crisp, but we move. <laughs> so I'm going to spray the weave with a little bit of hair mist and a little bit of this collagen oil because it's super dry right now. Um, I'm going to add some moisture back into the hair, especially since we've apparently blow dried it to nothing. So I am going to spray it in my hand, rub it up, and just finger it through my hair. And then I'm just going to, a little bit, because this is kind of thick, so just a little, that much. That's it. Rub it in. And just rub it through. Make sure you get the ends, because... That's the first part that be looking dry. It also helps to get rid of some of the frizziness as well. She don't love me, she too scary. My hope is fun like Jackie Brown. I wanna know what she too down. Will you be my leading lady? It looks a lot better. Has a sheen to it. And now we can start styling. So first things first, I am going to part my leave out. I am going to go in with my olive oil wrap and foam mousse. And so we're going to use that to flatten out, mold our leave out so that we don't have to use too much heat. And then we're gonna just tie it down with a scarf really tight. I'm gonna blow dry it, but I'm not gonna take it off. I'm just gonna use keep it on and just let the heat <laughs> radiate through and um just dry here a little bit. Okay, so I blow dried it. It took a lot longer um, than I wanted to, uh, but it is a little bit dry now. So I'm going to take this off. Okay, not bad at all. So for the most part, it is flat. So now let's turn on our handy dandy flat iron. Remember the game changing thing I was telling y'all about with the edges? So I saw a girl on TikTok use wrap setting foam on her edges, laying it down, tying it down instead of flat ironing it or using the small tiny flat iron to get it straight and do the swoop. I don't like my edges to look paced down. I want it to look a little free. Like that's how my baby here lay. <laughs> so I figured I'd give this technique a try and see if it works, especially since we're trying to lay low on putting heat on our hair, especially on our edges, because that'd be the first part that'd be ready to break free from us. Okay. Put some of my fingers and then rub it through here. And then I'm going to carve out my edges and pretty much lay them how I want them to lay naturally. And then we're gonna tie it down with a scarf while we finish doing the rest of our hair. So I'm not gonna take this um, elastic headband that I pretty much just cut in half and I'm gonna tie that around my edges. So while my edges set we'll continue with the rest of the hair will you be my leading lady i wanna call you and get a little baby in the meantime okay so i have went through and pretty much straightened the weave not too much um, so as you can see, it's not bone straight. You want to get rid of some of the frizz. Only 
Okay, so we are all done. I pretty much tried to put Velcro rollers on almost everything. Um, I didn't have enough. I only had 10. So some pieces are thicker than others. Um, and I also didn't have enough of these little silver pins. So this one here is hanging by a thread. I did let it sit for like 10 minutes. I kind of like cleaned up my area a little bit while I had these in so it can set. And so now we're going to unravel them and see how it looks. Fingers crossed, because as you can see, this entire process has been quite a process. <laughs> Now, the moment of truth, let's take off this headband. But the edges, they don't look half bad, y'all. First of all, they feel so smooth and so soft as if it's baby hairs. You know how baby hairs feel super soft? That's literally what it feels like. Let's just spray a little bit of hairspray. I'm going in with my Sebastian Shaper Zero Gravity. This is um, super lightweight, so it doesn't make your hair feel or look stiff when you're done. So I just use that to get rid of some of the flyaways. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. It's not super flat but it's also not like frizzy, also very movable. You're kind of like now seeing the layers that have been cut into my hair a lot more. My leave out is also very flat and it's blended in very well with the weave. My baby hairs, that's really, that's like the one thing I'm so shocked about is these baby hairs. This will forever be my technique from now on I need to stop putting heat on my edges it's not good they just frying them away <laughs> this was my first time doing a lot of these steps happy with how everything turned out so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and until next time bye